Mamas, this is Lacey, your lactation counselor. Today, we are going to be talking about how to breastfeed while lying down. So if you've ever tried to breastfeed while lying down, you know it can be a challenge, but it is worth it in the end and all the work. So why? Let's talk about why breastfeed lying down first. So um, a great benefit is if you've had a cesarean section. So if you've had a C-section, and sitting up and putting the baby on your chest can be too much pressure onto your incision. That would be a great reason to try breastfeed, breastfeeding while lying down. Um, it, it'll be kind of difficult at first, I understand, but it is going to be so worth it. Um, another reason why mamas like to try it is if they have a lot of back or neck pain. Um, if you have previous back or neck pain from before you've had your baby, or maybe it's just from sitting there for so many hours, right? Because in a newborn, they are breastfeeding around the clock, right? So if you're holding your baby and you're looking down and maybe you're slunched, like slunched over, slunched, 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 you know, hunched. Once you're hunched over a lot, looking at your baby, right? You can cause a lot of neck and back pain. And maybe even if you have fixed that or you have not been able to fix that um, position, it is still really nice, right? To get a break from that neck and back pain. Also, it is very soothing at night, right? So if your baby is laying down and, but it really doesn't, isn't settling well, but they're really tired, you can also just lay down next to them and nurse them to sleep. Sometimes people say that's a no-no, but hey, it really works. And from an experienced mama, I can say myself, I really, really love using this breastfeeding position. It is absolutely one of my favorites. And when they're brand spanking new, it is so sweet to lay down and snuggle with your baby and just take a break, right? So another reason why it would be so beneficial to breastfeed while laying down is if you've had a really long labor. So sometimes we have a lot of long labors and that pressure on your downstairs down there is going to be really difficult to sit for long periods of time. Like I said before, you will be sitting for long periods of time because you're nursing around the clock when they're brand new. And so if you're having a really hard time sitting because there's a lot of pressure, then it would be very nice to take a break from that, but also still to be able to nurse your baby by lying down. Okay, so there's a couple more that I have. So there's a lot of great reasons to lie down while you're breastfeeding. And so one of them is if you have really large breasts. Um, it can be really hard to breastfeed and see your baby if you have larger breasts. So a great tip to this is lying down on your side so you can have a better um, control of your positioning, but also you're able to see them a lot easier. And if you want, like I've said before, if you want to nurse your baby to sleep, this is a great way to nurse your baby to sleep. Um, and if you're just straight up tired, if you're one tired mama, because you have gone through all nights with your baby, or if you're just sick, I've always noticed in that postpartum period, once you're about six to eight weeks, um, there's always a cold that just reaches the house because, and you always get it right. And you can't take the cold medicine because that cold medicine will dry up your milk supply. So it is hard to have a cold around that time when you are breastfeeding, but it is so beneficial to be able to lie down and just rest with your baby when you are sick or just straight up tired. So um, let's talk about is breastfeeding while lying down, is it even safe? So generally laying down and breastfeeding your baby is safe, but you should take a few precautions. So first you wanna make sure that you have a healthy and full term baby. So this will help obviously. So if you have some uh, really some baby that came out of the NICU and there's might be having some health challenges, maybe this isn't the best position for you. I'm going to say hi to all you mamas. Hey. Um, so that is probably not the best time to breastfeed while lying down. If they're brand spanking new and they are having some health issues or they are just really, really little preemies. So um, it is great to make sure that they are full term and healthy newborn. And you want to make sure that they are away from any blankets. This will help preventing suffocation, right? 
and you want to make sure that they are not swaddled because if they ever at one point need to like move around or move something out of their way, if they don't have their hands, they are not able to move their way and that will not be safe. Okay. So those are some things that you want to make sure you do to keep breastfeeding while lying down safe. So let's go into the tips on lying down while breastfeeding. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to lie your baby down in the middle of your bed or a comfortable floor, if that's where you'd like to do it. And you want to make sure that there are, again, no loose blankets or sheets anywhere near, like on within an arm's reach of your baby, okay? Keep them completely away to remove any possibilities of suffocation. Then you're going to lie down with your baby and you are going to make sure that your stomach is near your baby's head, okay? And then you can also, you can use a pillow if that works for you, but you want to make sure that this is out of reach from your infant, right? So this will keep you comfortable. Um, you can even put one in between your legs to help with pressure. That will really help. So um, then you're going to slide up your baby and turn your baby towards your face or towards your body and make sure that their nose is in level with your nipple, okay? You can also cradle your baby here and you can have your baby's arm or your arm under your baby's head, but just make sure it's just not on top of your baby because then they don't have any control or support. Then you're going to shift your baby's weight to their side so that their tummy is facing your tummy, okay? And you wanna make sure that their ears and their shoulders and their hips are all in line. This is something I see a lot of new mamas have a hard time with. They will have just, they're all turned around and you really can never have a good latch, a good deep latch if part of their body is turned away from them. So make sure that everything in their body is in line and in your, their body is facing your body. This will help you breastfeed the most efficiently, okay? Then you're going to have them open their mouth wide. This can take some patience and practice, but you cannot just ram it into their face. And I know this is something that you're like, okay, this is what we do. We go. And the second they open their mouth, like the tiniest bit, you're like ready to go, but they are not ready. So they want to breastfeed. It is okay. You need to let them open their mouth. So have, they do have something called a rooting reflex. And so if you stroke their cheek or if you rub your nipple along their nose or even your finger, they will realize, oh, it's time to feed. And they will open their mouth wide at that point. And then you can allow them to latch. This is the time where you're going to check your baby's latch. Is it a good latch or does it need to be corrected? Do you need to start over, right? Listen to your baby. Can you hear them sucking and swallowing? Is their jaw moving? This will help ensure that you have a good latch and that you're not having a bunch of pain later from having cracked nipples or anything. And this will help make the most efficient breastfeeding position possible. And you guys will have a great breastfeeding relationship. So please let me know, have you used breastfeeding while lying down? Have you ever tried that position? Um, is it your favorite? Have you had it? Have you tried it? And you've said, Hey, this isn't for me. Or my baby was just like not having this when I tried. Let me know. I would love to hear your experience. And if what was one of your favorite tips that you think that would help you let me know down below. Thanks guys so much for joining. I will talk to you guys next week.